Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I'm in South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, and I had an excellent time today at the South Carolina HTMA event that was here in Columbia. I met some really cool people, and I've got some videos and video ideas from the people that I met. It's, oh my gosh, what a cool event. I was, my voice is almost shot because I was talking the whole time. But guys, uh, there's, there's a few things that came from my talks that I really want to share with you guys. So, one of the things that's really important that I want you guys to think about, and this really centers around right to repair. Because guys, if it wasn't for third party repair centers and the amount of materials that they have, whether it's cables, consumables, spare equipment, if it wasn't for the third party market, the United States would have faltered during this COVID outbreak. It would have faltered. It would have been like many other countries, especially Europe, where they were in a crisis. But here, the third parties, as soon as the OEMs hit some logistical barriers, the third parties kicked right in. We were the buffer, okay? And the third parties really saved the day. And nobody really is talking about that. The fact that because of capitalism and because of third party companies like mine here, um, these guys all have used medical equipment, they have service techs ready to rock and roll, and they answered the call. So when you guys are talking about right to repair, and I want you guys to start thinking about in terms of a national emergency, because of capitalism and the third party uh, service organizations, repair service organizations, because of what we have been able to pull off, we've proven, that it's absolutely essential for the future of healthcare to have OEMs, third party, and medical care providers because OEMs cannot solve all those problems. They just don't have the warehouses, they don't have, they don't have the capabilities. It's absolutely fine for third parties to have a piece of the market because when stuff happens, they answered the call. And it all happened while I was a hospital biomed. I was not even third party at the time. And I seen it time and time again. The third party saved the day. They would deliver goods, consumables, gloves, you name it. Third parties did it. It was fantastic. But I, uh, if you guys don't know, which you probably don't, we're going to release an amazing video. I Probably the best video I ever did. I toured a beautiful campus for Avante Healthcare Solutions here in North Carolina. And I'm gonna release that video probably in the next week. Um, it's a beautiful facility and it's laboratory quality conditions. I have never seen anything like it and just an amazing set of people. And to be honest, I was intimidated when I was there, not because of the people, but because the people were so smart and I was completely out of my element. These guys knew exactly what they were doing. The best of the best of the best work at this department. No question about it. Not a question in my mind. When they start talking about their love and passion for the electronics and the stuff they're doing, I, I can kind of keep up with the conversation with them. But to be honest, they're just so freaking amazing that I, I'm just kind of blown away. And in some cases, I was quiet. You know, and, and you guys know I like to talk. But... um. So that video is going to be coming up very soon. I've got to edit it. I've got so much crazy footage. And uh, they just opened the doors. They were exceptionally hospitable. And it was probably one of the most amazing events for my biomed career is to go and tour this facility and talk to the people. And uh, what a great organization. So look for that. And I want you guys to think back on my words that third-party repair centers, ISOs, they really did save the day when it came to the COVID pandemic. And it's because they were they had the supplies, they had the equipment, they had the people, and they were the buffer that pretty much saved American healthcare. Because you hear about some of these crises, like over in India, we had crises all over Europe, and they just couldn't keep up. Especially over in Asia, they could not keep up. And the reason that we could is because we had the logistical support and that's why we got to fight for right to repair guys and uh 
thank you Avante for bringing me out here and, and showing me your beautiful campus and thank you to all the people at Avante for sparing your time and, and talking about what you love about what we do so thank you all thank you for watching thank you South Carolina HTMA what a fantastic event and all you guys that showed up that spent your time to talk to me thank you so much this really brings a smile on my face and makes me remember why I love what we do. So thank you all for watching.